Good evening, everyone. This is Gary Bennett at Excel Me. Welcome to class number seven, Swift for Absolute Beginners. Uh, we're going to be going through, again, chapter seven and discussing classes, objects, methods, also referred to as functions in Swift. And those of you that are attending live, if you'd like to ask questions anytime, please feel free to type it in the question panel in your GoToWebinar control panel and I'll be happy to answer them right at the end and also answer any questions after I stop the recording. Again, the classes last about five or 10 minutes on the chapter. And those of you that are, uh, that are interested in also attending my live classes, just go to um, excelme.com and you can see the courses and when they are. Right now we're, in, uh, we're on course uh, number five, which is um, iPhone, iPad, SDK part two but everything's recorded and you can join in at any time. So let's get started tonight uh, by going to chapter seven in the book. Let me bring up iBooks over here. And um, we're gonna be talking about how to make a class, what instance variables are, methods or functions, and um, using class methods. And of course, if you again have any questions, feel free to type it in the go to webinar, webinar control panel and um, you're more than welcome to read the book on this. I'm just going to cover a specific piece on this, and it's classes, methods, functions, and instance variables. So let's go look at the code for Chapter 7 that's available for download on my forum. If you just go to the website, you'll see where the download is. And uh, oops, let me get that out of the way, and let's get over to this guy right here. Okay, so here's the radio station example and the entry point the first view that's going to be loaded uh, for this is the view controller class and the view view controller class its parent class is the UI view controller so it inherits all the methods and functions and instance variables or properties um, that are in a UI view controller and then its parent and its parent and its parent all right so here we can see we have a couple of functions right here. We have this function. These are what the functions look like. Function, function, okay. Function here. All right. And we have some properties. These properties are available to the class. Station name, station frequency, station brand. And we also have our own class that we made. Um, and it's called radio station. It does not have a parent. It has some properties that its name and its frequency, and it has some class functions. And class functions, you can think of them as um, as a factory. They create. They're going to create for us a um, object. They're going to return to us an object that's already allocated and instantiated. In this example here, we're just returning doubles. We're really not returning an object yet. We're just kind of introducing it. But a the difference between a class method and an instance method is a class method returns an object already allocated, ready to go with some data in it. All right, so how do we create a class and add a class, another class to our, um, our application? It's real easy, just go File, new new file and then we're going to select um, a coco touch class or just a regular swift file here so we can go ahead and create a hit next and we can choose the language what its parent is ui view controller a table view controller cell whatever its parent is okay or no parent if we want oops if i hit file new new file I could just say as a regular Swift file, and it doesn't have a parent, and I could name the class whatever. Uh, typically, classes always start with a uppercase. That's one of the differences between a class and um, you know a property. It a class starts uppercase, and by naming the file, that's what the name of the class is. My um, I'll just say my test class, and I can hit create here and it will add that. And there's really nothing that it's gonna give me from a template standpoint. If it's just a standalone, it doesn't inherit from any, anybody. But if we do a UI view controller or UI table view, it templates the code out for us nicely and saves us a lot of typing. 
if it does have a pair. File, as we'll see here, file new, Coco class, well, Swift, UI view controller, um, another, start uppercase, another class file, just call it, I uh, just call it another class, and hit next. And create. Okay, and here we have, if we say a UI view controller, um, oh, I, mm, Coco should have, should have made that foundation, their UI kit. Uh, let me do that one more time. File. Yeah, I, I think I missed one little step on this. It's easy to do. UI view controller, uh, Swift, and we could always change that back to UI kit for this guy right here. There we go. And that fixes it. So this is its parent is a UI view controller. All right, so let's go again, look at how we use our radio station um, class that um, is in the view controller. So in our view controller, we have, we're going to make an instance of our radio station class. It's called my station. And this is, this is an instance or instantiation. Instantiation is just a big word saying we're gonna allocate memory and we're going to initialize it. That's instantiation. It's taking a class and making it so we can use it. All right, or it's also referred to as an object. We're making an object here. And this object we can now apply action to. We can change its property. We can um, execute its functions or methods. We can't do that from the class. The class simply defines what is available. Now we're gonna make an object and this is what we're gonna work on. And if I do a search here in the code, you can see, um, we're going to go ahead and we we declare our our object by saying var, and then we're going to complete the instantiation here. We have an instance. We're going to complete the instantiation. This is going to initialize it and set up its memory, and now allow us to access two of its properties: frequency and name. And we can see these right here: frequency and name. And if I go back here. Um, and as a matter of fact, as you start typing, it will auto-complete for you if it knows the uh, property, if you have the property you are defined. You'll see auto-complete, and if I start typing frequency, or if I type name, it will auto-complete, and tell me what type is expecting. In this case, both these, this is a string, and this other one, frequency, is, a, um, is going to be a long. I think it is. Let's take a look here. If I go back here to... Radio station, a double, sorry, double. It expects to take a double. Okay, and now we can go ahead and we can, in our view that we're actually running, we're gonna set the text and set the frequency for what we set it at. So again, to create a class, we go to File New and select the name, or type in the name of the class that we want. It's also gonna be the file name and what we want to inherit from. And then we can go ahead and set in our radio station what our properties are and what our functions look like. So again, class, these are class um, functions. This here is an instance function, okay? Class functions are factories. We'll talk more about them later. They create new objects. They're gonna create an object for us to work with. All right, for those of you that are attending live, I'm going to stop the recording so I can post it on YouTube. But if you'd like to ask any question, feel free to type it in the question panel, the question section of the GoToWebinar control panel, and I'll be happy to answer it. And those of you that are listening to the YouTube video, if you'd like to attend live, it's real easy. Just go to excelme.com, click on free videos, click on free videos, there we go. And um, you can see where to go to register for the webinar. It's entirely free. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get notified whenever I post new videos, which are every week. They're Monday, Monday at uh, 5, let's see, um, 4.30 Pacific time. Um, and go to webinar, we'll go ahead and send you all that information uh, to you. And then you can see what's coming up here. So tonight we just covered chapter seven. Um, and then these last two here are really good. This is on um, options and forced unwrapped. 
uh, variables, and you can take a look at those from last week. All right, I'm going to stop the video, and we'll see you, for those of you listening on the recording, next week.